Welcome everybody to another video and in today's video I'm going to be evaluating some trades that I have inbound and I'm going to be giving you guys a general concept on how to tell if a trade that you have is going to be good or not and giving you guys some advice on whether you should do certain trades. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I'm going to be going through each of these trades. I have about 22 of these and I'm just going to be giving you guys uh, like my thoughts and stuff like that. I'm going to be going through all these kind of explaining why I think they're good or bad or uh, and just giving you guys general concepts on why some trades can be good and why some trades are bad. So we'll go ahead and start off with this trade. Now just looking at this, I already know it's bad. Uh, so Diamond Crystal Circlet is currently 5k value and uh, these are equal to 3.2. Uh, so yeah, this is just a lose uh, overall. So I'm going to go ahead and decline that. And just like that. Now this trade here that I have is more of an interesting one because this Grim Gold sword that I have here gets pretty nice overpay as it gets like 10 to 20 and I'm looking to get about 15 if I can. So just doing some quick maths here. This is that's about equal because it's worth 40k value and this is about 40k. And then you add this and that's 3k and then that's 5. So that's about 8k overpay of 7 7.5 because of that and uh, I know I know this gets some overpays like 5k or something like that uh, for my grim gold so it is an 8k overpay with this but I would like to get more and probably not with an item like this because I, I don't know if I actually want to get that so while this is not a bad offer I'm just gonna skip it for now uh, one thing I'll give you guys for advice is if you're unsure about a trade you can always just kind of leave it there you don't have to do anything to it uh, and then just skip past it. So we'll go on to this one here. Uh, now, right away, I already know this is a loss. I already know this is a bad trade. Uh, with most trades like this, uh, the values are going to be different, obviously. But usually, if you if you're using if you're losing wrap in a value trade, it's usually going to be bad. Not always, but uh, let's go ahead and calculate this. So uh, we'll go over to the trade calculator here, and we'll put in bubble trouble. And it looks like we got, I think, a catching snowflake, and then two buckets. And I believe I have a bucket, so I can do that. And just like that, yeah, this is going to be a 3KL. Now, uh, another piece of advice is, uh, let's say uh, what, someone is sending you items in a trade that you have in your inventory. So in, uh, in the trade calculator, so instead of looking it up, you can just go to do that. And then, you know, see what I just did there with the buckets? I just added it like that. So it's just a little little thing you know uh, so yeah I'm not gonna do that because that is just a 3k L so we're gonna go ahead and decline that now moving on to the next one this is another trade on the grim gold and uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is so let's go ahead and calculate it so we'll go ahead and put on put my grim gold there so we got Azure fedora uh, that is not under okay and then we got dice crown and uh, if you don't know much about value items, keep in mind that value items can be under wrap. Uh, if you go to the trading thing here and then you go to wrap requirements, that'll tell you the, the ratios of stuff like that. Now, this person does have a waffle hat. I'm trying to just get actually a uh, counter the trade earlier from them. I'm just trying to get their waffle hat and not, nothing else. Uh, white uh, beanie. Here we go. So this is going to be a 8K overpay again for uh perry here um i'm not gonna take this even though it's you know tempting with the waffle hat. i'm gonna try and get this waffle hat by itself so what i'm gonna do is counter this actually because i do want this waffle hat um if you know anything about me you'll know that uh, my avatar is a whole waffle let's send a a nice tray just like that all right you can't resist that i'm giving a nice overpay Okay, nice 100 overpay. You can't can't resist that. Let's see if they accept that. Yeah, but a 150, 160k, or just 150 overpay. Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, this is an L because this has value. None of these do, and uh, yeah, I can just tell already. So since none of these have value, this is going to be as much as you see here. And uh, Bubble Trouble is worth uh, 28, so that this itself wouldn't be worth it. I don't know why he's having me add. Um, yeah, that's confusing. They must only wrap trade. 
interesting. Well, uh, yeah, not gonna do that. So go ahead and decline. Uh, right here. Okay, I did see this offer earlier, and uh, it's an interesting one. Okay, so we got super. Oh, uh, the super drop yet? I don't know. I'm not sure. And then we got bright eyes top hats. Okay, now this is interesting. Oh, yeah, I have to add two smalls. That and that. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, the chill cap's projected normally around what this egg is. So we'll just do that. Let's do two eggs like that. So about 41.5454. Now, while this is about the amount I want to get for uh, the Grim Gold sword here, uh, these two items are under wrap right now. So if we go ahead and check. Uh, so yeah, this needs to be 23k wrap to be 30k. So it looks like it's going to lower here. And then Supa has 24 and it needs to be uh, 18k, I want to say. Uh, I know it needs to be 17 for 22. So it's like 18, 19, something like that. So yeah, not going to do this just because these two items are under. While they probably will recover, I'd rather get items that are under at the moment and then uh, do that. So... I'm going to leave it there just because it's not a bad offer. We'll kind of move on to some other ones. So right here we have a bigger trade. Okay, this is interesting. So we got a Pastel Rainbow Shaggy. So, all right, Dominus Prefectus. And then I actually have a Pastel Rainbow Shaggy. And I do not have the rest. So uh, paint and RBM. Okay, interesting. It's a 17k overpay with uh, PRS. Uh, I actually don't like PRS at all. I I want to trade it off really bad. So if you want my pass out rainbow shaggy, send on it. I don't want it. <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna take this. I can get way more with other better items. So um, I don't. This person, they're just a trade bot anyway. I'm not even gonna bother with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and decline that. Uh, moving on, we have got another trade similar to actually the first trade. This is not a good one by any means. Um, I think it's actually 1k more than the first one, now that I think about it. It's a 700 uh, L, because it's worth 5k. And I am, I'm good. So we got here, uh, it's uh, Twilight. I... They may get overpays. I'm not going to overpay for it, though. So, no, thank you. Move on to the next one. Oh, we have a big trade. We have a huge trade. Okay. Um, I've actually gotten this trade uh, inbound a few times, but I'll go ahead and I'll go over it, because why not? Uh, so, let's see what we got here. We got, especially my top three, isn't it? Oh, you're crazy. You're crazy, Sparkle Time Fedora. Oh my gosh, you're out of your mind. Wants me to overpay 180000 for Sparkle Time Fedora. This thing lowballs for good items. That's. You are crazy. You are smoking something. Okay. 100%. Not even. Like, if I were to do something like this, I would take off. Well, obviously, I'm not going to add 5,000 Robux. That's crazy. I mean, I'd take away. I take away that. Like, I might do something like that, but even then, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not even going to bother with this with this guy. Um, if, if Usually, if people send as bad of a trade as this, they're not going to take your, you know, better trade, you know, your more fair trade. So, not even going to bother, and I'm just going to decline that. So, here, okay, this is an interesting one. So go ahead and refresh that to clear it. RBM, put that there. And we are giving that and that. Okay, so 3k overpay. Now, yes, this is gonna drop 3k because it doesn't look like it's gonna recover. Um, but it's kind of like, eh, I mean, if RBM starts to go up and it'll go and if it goes to you know 38k I might take this because this will have dropped by then 
let's kind of keep it inbound for now and uh yeah we'll go on from here this is terrible what is this <laughs> no just this is just bad valkyrie helm is 160 it's like 70 this brings it to like almost 100 that uh, makes like 100 ish no this is like 110 one t 110 to 120 this is terrible no thank you okay right here this is not good no this is this doesn't seem good i'll i'll calculate it anyway for the sake of the video but this does not look good at all actually no i, I just know it's that bad i'm just not even gonna not even gonna bother so so we got here nope this is not good uh decline that you know bait the the wrap loss is not good so that's an obvious already bad trade now uh here okay so here's like a, some smaller things I'm not gonna take that um you know that's an obvious thing uh one thing with the gucci is it gets projected a lot so for you smaller traders like uh that trade with a lot of wrap items if you don't know much about projected, I actually have a video on that that you can go check out. And uh, some other things for people who have a little bit less. I'm actually going to make a video just for like the people with under 10k or something like that. You know, just to help them get out of that area. So um, right here, uh, you want to watch out for these Gucci items because they get projected a lot, as I was saying. And they're normally around 600. So don't don't get a bad trade because these aren't actually worth much if they're if they're worth 10k then you or 1k and then you know they're projected just a random thing i guess uh what even is this okay <laughs> just no um this like what what are these trades these are terrible so decline that um eh, it's not bad well no because this is 20k yes and no that is that is definitely bad nope uh Hmm. Nice, nice name. I like the name, but uh, yeah, this is projected a little bit, but still, it's an L. So I will decline. And here's the last trade. Um, I believe isn't. Hold on. FF. Okay, and then legit. It's gonna be an 8k overpay. I'm on this side now. Um, nope. I uh, FF is not good. Well, this is a good overpay for Valk. FF is not good at all. I could also check on Discord if I really wanted to, but it is not worth it. So those are about the 22 trades I'll go through. That's about it for that. Now there are a few more things I want to talk about when considering trades that you have. So things you want to take into consideration are the values and the wrap of items you want to make sure you're not getting an item that is under you don't want to be getting a projected item and you don't want to get an item that's peaked like a uh, good example of that would be uh, radioactive beast mode it usually peaks at 42k and goes down from there good way that you can check if an item is peaked or not is you can go to the value changes and rbm for an example and you can kind of see like what the max it gets to really you can see 42 that's about the max it gets uh you can do it for basically any item uh it's a little bit harder with bigger items uh let's see playful vampire this has gone down a lot recently but it peaks around 65 there you go and uh yeah just simple things like that can help you out in trades uh some more things uh would be an item state in this trade here uh, the FF is not doing good, the Fantastic Fusion, whatever, it's not doing good right now. The best way to check if an item is doing good or not is going to the Rollymon Discord and going to the proof section and looking up and seeing what an item gets. I actually made a video on that, so you can also check that out, how to check proofs of items and see how much they get. So, yeah, uh, also another thing, just another simple thing is whenever you're sending or accepting a trade, always just double check like let's say i wanted to actually take this trade i would just kind of double check uh, i would have this in the trade calculator obviously but uh i would just you know double check i'd go back and forth just make sure you know double check you know 
you know, everything I'm getting is there and uh, it's actually what I want. So don't be rushed to actually do any trades and uh, make sure you're thoroughly looking through the trade, making sure that it's actually something that's going to benefit you. So that is going to be about it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys want me to do more videos like this where I kind of go through trades and evaluate them, uh, probably not with as much detail like I did this one because this one I just went through more detail and explained my thoughts because, you know, give you guys some advice on how to, you know, consider a trade properly. But yeah, that's going to be about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.